Hi there, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Corso to back up your exchange data. So let's go ahead and take a look at our CLI here. Let's do Corso backup create. And we want to backup exchange. And we're going to scope this to a single user. So I'll do that by email address. Uh, also, this is also their username, which I think is maybe more accurate to call it here. And then let's go ahead and also scope this to a single data type. So I'll back up just this user's email. It'll start by connecting to our S3 repository. So in this case, right, Corso has already been set up. It has um, an S3 repository, uh, a bucket that it's connecting to, and I've also already pre-configured it with a passphrase. So it knows that the uh, Corso CLI is authorized to connect to it and do things like update the backups and delete them. So you'll see this nice cool display here where we get to display actually what uh, folders we're backing up and how much data has been discovered, which is neat. And it should be done in just another minute or two. All right. And we have an ID for our backup displaying here. Fantastic. And, uh, you know, what selectors we completed it with. So let's say we want to run another backup, but we want to do it with more than one user. We want to run it for multiple users. So if we have a list of users, what we can do is we can separate that with commas. So let me go ahead and make that change. Let's, we'll still back up Alex's data, but we want to get George's as well. So I'll go ahead and enter, do a comma and enter in George's data. And then because we want this, you know, we don't want this to take quite so long, uh, let's go scope this to some lighter data from both of them. Let's just grab their contacts. And now this will run for each user and we should get two separate backup IDs by user. Start by connecting to the repository. That's running a little slowly today, who knows why, but um, then we'll go ahead and scope and find the data to do. We'll do one set and then we'll get contacts for George as well. And both will be pretty quick. Nice. You can also do, though I won't run it on, uh, screen here, you can also do user, and then instead of giving a comma separate list, you can just give it star to say you want to do it for all users. But uh, again, I'm taking a little long to run on this video. So let's in let's take a look at the backups that we created. Let's do backup list exchange. and we'll connect to the repository and list all the exchange data backups we've done. There should be um, a couple extra here because I was practicing before I captured this video. Okay, and if for some reason, maybe we, you know, uh, George is leaving the org and we don't want to save this data, we can say, okay, well, we actually want to delete that backup of George's data. We can grab that ID and do uh, Corso backup delete and again it's exchange that we're deleting and we'll scope that to uh, a backup id so we'll do dash dash backup and then give it that backup id and we'll see that run what do you what do you expect it might take 13 seconds to connect to the repositories and that's what it's taken every other time before um and then that's deleted and we can run the list and we should see that that item missing from the list now, um, 13 seconds from now. Um, I'll make a couple other videos after this uh, describing the process of debugging this a little bit and checking our connections. Uh, but yeah, no, here we go. We have uh, George missing from that list of backups. Okay, thanks for checking this out.